hello my lovely welcome back to my kitchen it is always good to have you here and if today is your first time visiting i hope you consider to join us by subscribing and also hitting on your notification bell to receive all future uploads so my dear today we are making this delicious chicken thigh recipe it is very simple flavorful juicy as you can see you would love this recipe come on in and let's begin so i will start it off by cutting off the bone in the chicken thigh if you would like to leave your sin yes of course you can just leave it in follow you through as i am doing and then cut the cartilage at the bottom and remove the bone off like this look we've got one fine flat chicken thigh ready let's put all the ready ones in a bowl now and to season i'm going in with garlic granules followed by onga chicken cube that goes in as well and then i'll top it up with ginger paste now we will add some bouillon powder plus black pepper some fine and freshly chopped spring onions and now go in with your light soya sauce and massage all these spices in well until they are really well done next i'm going to cover this up so that i trap in all these flavors <laughs> On a hot pan, I'm going to add a little bit of oil and then straight away you want to fry your chicken thigh with the skin down. I'm going to fry this for about 3-4 to four minutes only and then turn it over. Allow the other side to also fry for about 3 minutes too and then I'll remove these from the pan. Continue to fry the rest of your chicken until it is done. A wider surface of pan is ideal if you are frying a whole batch. Now that we fried all our chicken thighs, I'm going to remove this and make sure any bent out in the pan are removed as such. Once the pan is ready again, I'm going to go in with a chunk of butter, melt it up completely and then place your chicken thigh again with the skin facing down. This time I'm going to try and squeeze everything in. And then I'm going to leave them in the butter to fry for about three to four minutes before turning them over. Allow the inner part to also fry for about three to four minutes and then turn it over again. If you are a subscriber, thank you so very much. If you are new here, I hope you consider to join us by subscribing. The next step ensures that the chicken gets cooked up properly. And so I mean, I'll go back and bring the chicken stock together with the seasoning from earlier on and add everything together cover it up and allow this to fry and boil at the same time coming back just take a look at this beauty in a pot i will flip it over as well so the other side get a chance to soak in all these flavors as well Coming back, just take a look at this. The aroma of this chicken thigh alone is enough to eat your kinky or rice with. <laughs> yes, it looks so beautiful and it tastes incredibly delicious. You get a chance to taste every single spice with every single bite and it is so, so juicy. Seriously, you should try this and if and if you do, make sure you have whatever you have in this chicken with ready at it. Otherwise, you are going to pick them up one by one and finish it off. I had mine with vegetable stir fry and white rice. 
I do hope you actually try this. Please give this video a thumbs up to help support the channel. Subscribe, turn on your notification bell and I will see you later. Bye bye.